peace the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the joyful mysteries. The first joyful mystery is the Annunciation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let your perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. The second joyful mystery is the visitation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let your perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. The third joyful mystery is the birth of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be, forever. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let your perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. The fourth joyful mystery is a presentation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let your perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. The fifth joyful mystery, the finding of a child Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let your perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O, o Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God. God. Despise not, not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O, o God, God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, death and resurrection, resurrection as purchase for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has glued him in splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of Saint Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and words, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you. Let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today we celebrate the anniversary of the deceased brothers and sisters of the Order of Preachers. The practice of the Universal Church has associated the Feast of All Saints with that of all souls, emphasizing the fundamental truth of the communion of saints. According to the custom of our order, after celebrating the Feast of All Saints of the Order of Preachers, we too remember our brothers and sisters 
who have gone before us with a sign of faith, and pray that they might enjoy eternal rest with the Lord. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, followed by the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. He made the seed belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord, our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock, his shepherds. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Forty years I endured the generation. I said, they are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. with your kindness. O Lord, you have been a refuge from one generation to the next, before the mountains were born, or the earth or the world brought forth. You are God without beginning or end. You turn men back to dust and say, Go back, sons of men. To your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. You sweep men away like a dream, like grass which springs up in the morning. In the morning it springs up and flowers. By evening it withers and fades. So we are destroyed in your anger, struck with terror in your fury. Our guilt lies open before you, our secrets in the light of your face. All our days pass away in your anger. Our life is over like a sigh. Our span is seventy years, 
or 80 for those who are strong. And most of these are emptiness and pain. They pass swiftly and we are gone. Who understands the power of your anger and first the strength of your fury? Make us know the shortness of our life that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent. Is your anger forever? Show pity to your servants. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exalt and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. Show forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Let the favor of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Give success to the work of our hands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. From the furthest bounds of the earth, may God be praised. Sing to the Lord a new song, His praise from the end of the earth. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the coastlands and those who dwell in them. Let the steppe and its cities cry out, the villages where Kedar dwells. Let the inhabitants of Sela exult and shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and utter His praise in the coastlands. The Lord goes forth like a hero, like a warrior He steers up His ardor. He shouts out His battle cry, Against his enemies, he shows his might. I have looked away and kept silence. I have said nothing, holding myself in. But now I cry out as a woman in labor, gasping and panting. I will lay waste mountains and hills. All their herbage I will dry up. I will turn the rivers into marshes, and the marshes I will dry up. I will lead the blind on their journey. By paths unknown I will guide them. I will turn darkness into light before them, and make crooked ways straight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be, forever. Amen. You who stand in His sanctuary, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise Him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a song to his name, for he is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and Israel for his own possession. For I know the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills, in heaven, on earth, in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sihon, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He let Israel inherit their land. On his people their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be, forever. Amen. We should be grateful to the Lord our God for putting us to the test, as He did our forefathers. Recall how they dealt with Abraham, and how we tried Isaac, and all that happened to Jacob in Syrian Mesopotamia, while he was tending the flocks of Laban, his mother's brother. Not for vengeance did the Lord put them in their crucible to try their hearts, nor He has done so with us. It is by way of admonition that He chastises those who are close to Him. Sing for joy God's chosen ones, give Him the praise that is due. Sing for joy God's chosen ones, Give him the praise that is due. Sing a new song to the Lord. Give him the praise that is due. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Sing, Sing for joy, joy God's, God's chosen ones. Give him the praise that is due. Blessed be the Lord, for he has come to his people and set them free. Please hold stand. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, 
He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness, in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, for He has come to His people and set them free. Because Christ hears and saves those who hope in Him, let us pray. We praise you, Lord. We hope in you. We thank you because you are rich in mercy and for the abundant love with which you have loved us. We pray. We praise you, Lord. We hope in you. With the Father, you are always at work in the world. Make all things new through the power of your Holy Spirit. We pray. We praise you, Lord. We hope in you. Open our eyes and the eyes of our brothers to see your wonders this day. We pray. We praise you, Lord. We hope in you. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the Master of the Order and his assistants, and for our brothers in ministry at Santo Domingo and Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. You call us today to your service. Make us stewards of your many gifts. We pray. We praise you, Lord. We hope in you. With longing for the coming of the kingdom, let us now pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God, our Creator, you gave us the earth to cultivate and the sun to serve our needs. Help us to spend this day for your glory and for our neighbor's good. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning to all of you, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is a very special day for us Dominicans because we celebrate the anniversary of deceased brothers and sisters in the Order 
in the Dominican family. We have a special day for celebrating our departed brothers and sisters in the Dominican family. So my dear friends, as we begin our celebration, we once again call to mind our shortcomings, our infidelities, our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to you, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, to my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. God of all consolation, you call us all to the same wondrous hope. We pray for our deceased brothers and sisters. You love them in this life with an ineffable love and granted them the privilege of serving you with apostolic charity in the preaching of the gospel. Receive them now in your peace and your joy. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw new heavens and a new earth. The former heavens and the former earth had passed away, and the sea was no longer. I also saw a new Jerusalem, the holy city, coming down out of heaven from God, beautiful as a bride prepared to meet her husband. I heard a loud voice from the throne cry out this is God's dwelling among men he shall dwell with them and they shall be his people and he shall be their God who is always with them he shall wipe every tear from their eyes and there shall be no more death or mourning crying out of pain for the former world has passed away the one who sat on the throne said to me See, I make all things new. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To anyone who thirsts, I will give drink without cost, from the spring of life giving water. He who wins the victory shall inherit these gifts. I will be his God, and he shall be my son. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to, to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates of Jerusalem. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to the house of the Lord. For Israel's law it is, there to praise the Lord's name, there were set the thrones of judgments of the house of David. I rejoice when I heard them say, Let us go to the house of the Lord. For love, my brethren and friends, I say peace upon you. For the love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. I rejoice when I heard them say, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Please stand. true home is in heaven, and Jesus Christ, whose return we long, who will come from heaven to save us. The Lord 
be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I do not ask you to take them out of the world, but to guard them from the evil one. They are not of the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them by means of truth, and your word is truth. As you have sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. I consecrate myself for their sakes now, that they may be consecrated in truth. I do not pray for them alone. I pray for those who will believe in me through their word, that all may be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you. I pray that they may be one in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. Father, all those you gave me, I would have in my company where I am to see this glory of mine, which is your gift to me, because of the love you bore me before the world began. Just, Father, the world has not known you, but I have known you, and those men have known that you sent me. To them I have revealed your name, and I will continue to reveal it so that your love for me may live in them, and I may live in them. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Meron po kaming madalas matanggap na email magmula sa head office ng mga Dominicans dito sa Pilipinas. At isa sa pinakamadalas naming matanggap ay yung communication informing us na meron na namang sumakabilang buhay. Whether pare, madre, relatives ng pare at madre, we are always informed on that. Kaya kapag ka umaga or any time of the day, biglang mag mag uh, magsound yung email ko at nakita ko na from the province from the head uh, from the head office ang tanong ko lagi sino na naman kaya ang sumakabilang buhay lagi po yan uh, yeah, day in and then day out no isa yun sa pinaka official na mga communication informing us na meron na naman sa amin na sumakabilang buhay pare madre kapatid ng pari at madre, we're always informed. So that almost automatically, we say a prayer. Uh, there is a joke among uh, the Dominica, uh, among the religious orders, uh, that makikilala mo daw yung identity ng mga religious orders sa pamamagitan ng kanilang gawa, o pamamagitan ng kanilang preoccupation, ng bawa na lang. You would like to pray daw with the Carmelites sapagkat maganda yung kanilang liturgy. If uh, the Benedictines, you would like to sing with them. Kanilang liturgy ay laging uh, maganda, well prepared. Dito sa amin, eh, minsan sumis sumisintunado pa kami. No? The Jesuits naman, you would like to work with them daw. No? How about the Dominicans? Sabi nila, uh, the Dominicans is the order where we would like to die with. Bakit to die with? Kasi the joke is that mahirap na nga daw and challenging to live in the community. Kaya nga naman, even in death, extended yung care and affection namin sa mga departed brothers and sisters. Tradition po yan, to take care of the dead within our, our Dominican order and then the Dominican family to look after our departed members of the family is part and parcel ng, ng identity ng Dominican order. Halimbawa na lang po, every night, whether in community or alone, no, or in our prayers, we always end our prayers with, the, with Psalm 130. Ano tong Psalm 130? Ito yung de profundis. Ito yung naririnig ninyo kapag ka naglilibing. Ito yung naririnig ninyo kapag ka may mga patay. 
Ito yung it begins with out to the depths I cry to you, O Lord. It is a prayer for the dead. And we do that every night before we sleep. So, part ng aming prayer ay prayer for the dead. Also, we have the, what we call the suffrages for the dead. Mass intentions, prayers, ang dami nagpapagdasal no? uh, for the eternal repose of the soul ni ganito at ni ganito. Uh, in fact, no? uh, ang isa po sa ma maraming nagpapamisa dito sa minor basilica ay para sa patay. No? Kahit na hindi araw ng patay, nagpapamisa para sa patay. At ito po ha, um, ang isa po sa sumusuporta sa mga seminarista po namin ay nanggagaling doon sa mga tulong, doon sa mass card, doon sa mga pamisa sa, sa patay. Kaya nga, very beautiful sapagkat even the dead no, supports the living. Hindi lang po yung living ang nagdadasal para sa mga patay, para sa eternal repose ng mga departed brothers and sisters. But even those who are already departed through their prayers and then very, very concretely uh, ay true sa mga pamisa, sa mass card, nakakapagpaaral po kami. In fact, alam niyo kung ano yung pangalan ng, ng foundation no? uh, na has something to do with the dead ay it's the IAPSI. It is the association for uh, it's a foundation uh, for poor seminarians. Kaya kumakain ang mga seminarista namin na pag-aaral namin no? whether sa Pilipinas o sa ibang bansa ng kanilang complementary studies ay malaking bahagi doon ay galing sa contribution ng mga pamisa ng mga yumao. No? That's how uh, close are we uh, our relationship with the dead. Isa pa, traditionally, automatic po yan kapag ka among the friars somebody died, almost automa automatic po yan. It is in our system that we offer a mass for the departed priest, for the departed brother, and for the departed members of the Dominican family. So in other words, in, uh, yung, yung well-being ng mga yumao among the Dominican family, kaya kasama yung mga friends and benefactors sa Dominican family. And today, November 8, is a day that we remember them, that we, we thank God for the lives that they have offered, that we thank God for the graces that we receive and experience through them. We pray for our departed brothers and sisters. So our prayers even extended to our families and benefactors. Kaya nga po doon sa email na natanggap namin, minsan hindi, hindi lang po yung Hindi lang po yung uh, kung sinong mga, uh, mga full-fledged Dominicans ang yumao na, kundi yung tatay ni ganitong pare, yung kapatid ni ganitong pare, kasama yun. Because we have always seen ourselves as a family. Sakit sa kalingkingan, damdam ng buong katawan. And one author even said that to be a Dominican is to cultivate a love and care for the dead. Ito ay bahagi ng tinatawag nating Dominican spirituality. You are not a Dominican if you do not care for the dead, for the departed. So it's part po sa dasal, sa buhay namin, sa misa, in everything. We remember the dead because we also believe that the dead prays for us. Ang sabi ni Santo Domingo, nung mamamatay na po siya at umahagulgol yung kanyang mga kapatid in his deathbed, they were crying. And he said to them, Shh, stop crying because where I am going, I will be more of help to you because I am now closer and I can intercede and pray for you. Di ba ang ganda? 
So it's not only the living praying for the dead, but more importantly, the dead who is now in the bosom of Abraham, in the bosom of our Lord, back to God, is now praying for us. Lastly, the theological reason po natin dito, alam niyo po yung, yung uh, gospel passage, there are three things that last. Di ba, no? Ano nga yun? Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of this is love. Bakit? Because faith and hope ay merong katapusan. But love, not even death, can break it. Charity goes beyond our life here on earth. And it is something that binds us all. Not only in faith, not only in hope, but more importantly, in charity. Because charity goes beyond our life here on earth. Kaya nakakatuwa, no? So I was, while I was reflecting on, on the gospel, on our celebration, oo nga, ano, managpapaaral sa amin, malaking bahagi doon, galing sa mga patay. May nakakapagpa-abroad para maging scholar, Malaking bahagi doon ay galing sa scholarship na binibigay ng mga patay. So we care for the dead and the dead takes care of us through their prayers. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng isang church, ng isang community. And as Dominicans, isa sa mga pillars ng Dominican order is to live and to die in a community. My dear friends, welcome to the family. And as you continue to come here and attend our Masses, hindi nyo man tanggapin, but gradually, you are now being imbued with what we call the Dominican spirituality. In life and in death. Kindly all start. With confidence, let us pray to God, the Almighty Father, that all who have died in the peace of Christ may be raised up to live with Him forever. Let your response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all Christians, that they may live and die in the grace of God the Father, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the voice of peacemakers may find a favorable reception in nations torn apart by war and civil discontent. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the departed members of the order, that they may be rewarded and live in joy with the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here in faith and love, may, be, may we be reunited one day in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray in a very special way for the special intention of Father Ed Alapide who celebrates his birthday. Our Lolo, may he be granted uh, good health in his old age, kept safe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray in a very special way for all the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, for their well-being, for their health and safety, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for our frontliners, especially our health workers, for their safety, guidance, and inspiration. We also continue to pray for all the leaders, both in the government and in the church, for their enlightenment, that they may be imbued with the spirit of generous giving, authentic service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, you offer your personal intentions. Lord, may our prayers help our brothers and sisters who have died in your peace let them into your kingdom heavenly kingdom and unite us all one day in the glory of your presence through christ our lord amen, amen. please be seated
Blessed be your Lord, God, our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us a bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed be your Lord, God, our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the divine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, accept these gifts we offer in the name of our brothers and sisters. May they be freed from sin and brought to the happiness of life in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as one alone, He accepted death so that we might all escape from dying. As one man, He chose to die so that in your sight we all might live forever. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take these all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, particularly on the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially those belonging to the Dominican family who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Mother of the Church, the Blessed Virgin Mary and Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor ensures forever and ever. Once again, we are being reminded we belong to one family and at the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread forgive, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, my peace I give you, my peace. Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now we offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, behold, our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray together the credo of stewardship. I believe in the God of love, the owner of everything who possesses everyone. I believe in the God of mercy who has chosen me to be a steward of Mother Nature, Mother Church, in spite of who I am and what I have done, in spite of the infidelities he knows I will still commit. I believe in the power of giving and the power of loving like Jesus. Because love is the only way of holiness. Giving is the best proof of loving and perfect renunciation leads to unlimited fruitfulness. I believe that in freely giving my time, in humbly sharing my talents, and in generously sacrificing my treasures, the Lord will always provide. He will take care of all the needs and bless me with infinite reward on heaven and on earth. I will be the first to give. I will not wait for the others. I will keep on giving even if others do not give. I will not be afraid to have none. I will. I believe that the best time to share is now, not tomorrow, for tomorrow is an excuse of the greedy. I will keep my needs and wants simple and few, for I believe that in reducing my selfishness, I will grow in happiness and holiness. I am steward of the Lord. I will return all this to Him with abundant yield. Much is asked of me because much has been given to me. I praise the Lord for His kindness to me now and forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Lord, you renew our lives by this Holy Eucharist. Free our brothers and sisters from sin and raise them to eternal life. We ask this in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Before I give the final blessing, maraming salamat po sa pagdalaw ninyo sa Minor Basilica, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak, more importantly, maraming salamat sa inyong pakikisa sa banal na misa. Uh, I'd just like to announce po that our community here at the Minor Basilica, the Priory of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, the community of fathers, and then the larger community, we are overjoyed because one of our lolos, a member of our community, Father Norberto Castillo, former rector of the University of Santo Tomas, lolo na po namin siya, but uh, he received, he recently received uh, the award, a recognition, coming from Pope Francis, the Pro Ecclesia et Pontificia uh, recognition or award. Uh, sa kasamaang balat po, si Lolo Norbert ay nasa ospital ngayon. Uh, medyo hindi makalakad. Hindi makalakad. Uh, at uh, is undergoing therapy and his heart is also being taken care of. But sa November 19 po, uh, sa USC Hospital, there will be an investiture of the award that was given to him by the Church, by Pope uh, Francis. And we are also grateful for Archbishop Socrates uh, Villegas who made this come true. So in behalf po ng uh, aming komunidad dito, especially the friars, the brothers, we extend our gratitude to our beloved Archbishop. So continue to pray for all of us, especially for our lolos. Marami po kaming lolo dito na uh, medyo tandana, but still very much part of our community na kapag minisa pa rin po. So we need your prayers for them. At makakaasa rin po kayo ng patuloy na pagdarasal po namin para sa inyo. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. With inexpressible love, the God of all consolation gave the human family the gift of life. May God bless you with a faith in the resurrection of Jesus Christ and with hope of rising to new life. Amen. Amen. To us who are alive, may God grant forgiveness and to all who have died a place of light and peace. Amen. As we believe that Christ rose from the dead, so we may live with Him forever in joy. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended, go in peace to love and serve the Lord to one another. We shall now say the prayer for the blessing ng mga may sakit. 
and then we will bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Or turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Para naman sa inyong religious articles, basbasan natin. In memory of the miseries of the life, death, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Her Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.